Hey, hey, it's me again. Here I am. Listen, today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the origin of my tattoos. A lot of people have asked me, what are your tattoos about? What do they mean? What are they? So I thought I'd show you guys a little bit of like, uh, you know, uh, why, I, why I got them and what they're about. Uh, the first one I got is right here on this arm. And if you guys can get a good look at it, it's a clipper ship. It comes from the uh, Anne McKim, uh, which was what my, what my wife was named after. I have a picture of it. Um, you can kind of get a feel for it. This is an old etching. It was one of the first clipper ships from Maryland. Um, so her name is Anne McKim, and she was named after this ship. So that was my first tattoo. And I think you can get a good look. Let's see if I can get the focus better. There we go, Anne McKim. Um, the second one um, is by a Dutch artist named Angelique Hautkamp. Um, let me give you a better view of that. There we go, that's pretty good. Um, this one was inspired by a lot of the photographs that I took of octopus. Um, this is an early one with a guy with the octopus wrapped around his head. Um, here's one of a guy with the octopus in his mouth wearing a collar. Um, this one has been manipulated and printed um, through tissue paper. Um, then I kind of got into that whole idea of fish and skins and wrapping fish skins around figures and whatnot. And that's what some of these photographs come from. Um, again, sorry about the glare. There's a pretty good one. Um, her face and whatnot is wrapped in the skins. I used to go down um, every Friday at the uh, Cross Street Market and get fish skins from my friend Nick and Tommy. Um, and here are some of the skins wrapped around. These are black and white selectively toned photographs uh, wrapped around the figure. Um, so in fact, those basically were the inspiration. Here's a woman with fish they are skins around her, then there's actual fish that have been placed into the, um, into the bushes. I shot this actually when I was in graduate school. So there's kind of a long history of me and the fish. So this newest, most recent tattoo over here is of a fish with a woman's face coming out of the fish's mouth. Guess that's a good view. That's probably the best view that you're going to get. Um, and that piece was inspired by this photograph, which actually has done very well for me. Um, it's in a number of museum collections. It's called Piscina. And here's the women. Uh, they were in the water. It was shot in a baby's wading pool. And the fish is in here in the center. And I thought I was getting creative, getting a really, really big fish. But unfortunately, um, it was like over 60 pounds, and they could not, um, they couldn't hold it. So... It ended up not being um, not being as successful, but this particular image did very well, um, and people really liked it, and it sold real well. So, so that's what that is basically inspired of. That fish, I'm in Baltimore, Maryland, and I got that fish. Um, it's kind of a funny story. There was this um, place in Fells Point, and um, it's a fish it's a fish market, and I was down, and I was there, and I was like, look, if you guys ever get something. Um, really, really inexpensive, really big that I can afford, call me and I'll use it in my photographs. Um, so I get this call, it's like, oh, I don't know, five o'clock in the morning when the boats come in kind of deal. And it's like, hey, we got a fish. And it's like, I thought it was an obscene phone call. It's like, what the hell? What do you mean I got a fish? Um, so I go down there and I get this thing and it was a drum. And drum have what you'd call almost human teeth. So it had like uppers and lowers teeth. It was absolutely bizarre. Um, it looks very, very much like this fish. Tom did a very, very good job in emulating, um, emulating the actual fish. But anyway, um, I brought it home. And at that point, I lived in a uh, apartment that was um, not really very good. And I shot and slept and everything basically in one room. So I had this baby's wading pool that was filled with water. And I had this dead 60-pound drum in there after I had shot. And it was the middle of the night. And it was floating in there, and it was pouring rain. And I'm like, uh-oh, I'm not taking this damn thing outside. But it started to smell and smell bad. 
So finally, it was like, okay, I got to take this out. So I wrapped it in two giant garbage bags and duct tape and rope and threw it over my shoulder. And I took it down the stairs and around the back alley. And it was like, okay, you're going to get rolled. I mean, this was, wasn't the kind of alley that you'd like go in the middle of night, let alone at like three o'clock in the morning. So I see this guy coming up the alley when I'm trying to put the damn thing in the garbage can. And it's like, the guy is like, he takes kind of one look at me and I look at him and I get scared and I drop this thing and this thing slides across the brick. It must, it, it must have, he must have thought it was a body. And then when he saw this giant tail on it, he took off like 100 miles an hour up the alley screaming. So it was like, I don't know whether he thought it was a body or some sort of freaky, um, you know, android uh, monster. But anyway, um, that's probably my best fish story. Um, and that's what this whole tattoo is basically based on. Um, and that's why I had kind of the women coming out of the fish's mouth. So all my tattoos, again... Um, are my favorite tattooist is Tom Beasley, um, and he's at Dragon Moon, which is in Glen Burnie. Um, I wouldn't let anybody else do my tattoos. This studio has just got a great reputation. They are really, really clean. This one wraps around the side. Um, his wife is like a really well-known tattoo artist as well, and also really instrumental in the whole thing of um, tattoo safety, so I never have an issue. I never have an infection. Um, that's the place to go. So, okay. Well, hey, thanks a lot for uh, listening and taking a look at my stuff. And now you guys know what my tattoos are all about. Okay. See you next time. Bye-bye.